Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. Today we are going to be taking a look at a myth that has been frequently requested in the comments on the last few episodes. So someone has started a rumour that apples have higher drop rates from leaves when in the swamp biome and as always the best way to know for sure is to do some tests. So we're going to be using this testing facility that we've used before when testing drop rates from leaves and this time we're going to be modifying the biome. So over here you can see that we are in a swamp biome and if we fly over to this side, you can see that we are in a jungle. Now the myth was about the swamp biome, but we are going to test much more than just one biome. And the way we're going to do this is to punch out all of the trees and let the leaves decay naturally. And then repeat the test in a different biome. Now it's been some time since we've done a time lapse on this show, and I think now is the perfect opportunity to do so. <laughs> So there you have it, we have tested 16 different biomes including 4 of the new ones from the 1.7 update and on average we were getting between 9 and 13 apples. However it was the first two tests that we got the least on. The swamp biome, which the rumours suggest get more apples, only had 3 and the jungle had 6. Now this is most likely an anomaly, which is why I'm going to do the test again, however sometimes the way in which you display information with numbers can be misleading. For example, the swamp biome had three apples and the desert had 13, which could mean the desert drops 433% more apples than in the swamp. However, if we factor in the amount of leaves these apples came from, which was 1,888, then the average drop rate for the swamp is 0.0016%, and the desert is 0.0068%, which is a difference of 0.0052%, which sounds very small in comparison to 433%, but it could mean that Moyang coded in a 0.005% difference between the two biome types, however it is very unlikely. So I think we should redo the swamp and jungle test just to check. 
So all of the leaves have finished decaying, which means it's time to test the results. On this side over here we have the swamp, you can tell by the colour of the water. And we got 13 apples, which is the most we've actually ever seen in a single test. And this side over here, the jungle, we got 10 apples, and I think it's fair to say those first two tests we did were an anomaly. But there you go, that is another myth busted. It doesn't appear that the biome type has an effect on the apple drop rate from leaves. And so that is it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do give it a like. It will always be appreciated. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.